My name is David Woods and I've been working as an occupational psychologist for the last 10 years. I have a strong interest in sport and um, was particularly in endurance running myself and I really wanted to move away from the occupational psychology into sports psychology. So I decided to take a year out from the full time work and complete the course in the, the MSc in Sport and Exercise Psychology here at the University of Ulster in Jordanstown. The course itself offers a, a real different sort of range of um, modules on it. So there's crosses from both the applied sports psychology, which is really looking at working with elite athletes and how they might apply psychology to um, ensure peak performance consistently, through to exercise psychology, which looked at the, the broader population and how exercise can benefit everyone, and maybe some of the psychological issues and um, psychological benefits exercise can bring. Um, we also looked at research methods and statistics, and how we can help um, do our own studies and complete uh, research in the field of exercise and sports psychology. And there's also a module on social perspectives that I find really interesting, which looked at how different sections of society, for example, um, you know, males or females or disabled, um, may uh, have difficulties with certain areas of sport and how we can encourage all, 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 all parts of society to, to take part in exercise. In terms of the lectures themselves, there's a really strong mix of both applied knowledge and theoretical knowledge, so where they all came with a strong theoretical understanding. It was really um, useful to know that it all worked with um, athletes themselves or um, the population at large and trying to get them involved in sport and exercise. So it brought that real sort of practical understanding which I found really interesting. Um, in terms of the assessments, it was a mix of um, coursework, sort of essays, presentations and um, workshops as well where we had to work with athletes themselves and um, teaching them different psychological methods and sports psychology and practices that may help them again attain their own peak performance time after time. So one of the main draws of studying the MSc in Sport and Exercise Psychology here at the University of Ulster was that it's accredited, which um, not every other course that I looked at was. And um, this allows me on completion of the course to have stage one, um, which is really the first step in becoming a chartered sport and exercise psychologist uh, in terms of accredited by the British Psychological Society. So that was really interesting and really useful um, and something that I really wanted to have. So when I finish the course now, hopefully in September, um, and then graduate in December, it allows me to go on and complete stage two of the process to become an accredited sport and exercise psychologist. So my knowledge in sport and exercise psychology and the confidence I've gained from doing the course has allowed me to apply, for example, to a volunteer post working with the Ulster Rugby Development Squads, which I'm just starting at the moment and will run throughout the summer. Uh, on top of that, hopefully, on completion of the course, I'm working towards stage two of the accreditation. Um, again, hopefully this should allow me to apply for more jobs uh, voluntary or hopefully paid in sport and exercise psychology. Uh, I've really enjoyed my time completing the, the, the MSc in sport and exercise psychology here at the University of Ulster. It has at times been challenging but it's given me a real insight into the different jobs and the way I can take that forward, not working just with elite athletes but also maybe working with the, the wider society and helping them engage in sport and exercise psychology. So if you are interested in doing a Masters in sport and exercise psychology, I would really recommend the course here at the University of Ulster because it is accredited and because there's a real mix of modules which give you um, exposure to a wide variety of, of options that a sport and exercise psychologist could pursue as a career.